All right, so <laughs> tried to make a previous video of this. Had a little problem, um, but <sighs> I need to share. I just need to. I need to talk. I've been so frustrated. I've talked to. This is what happened. My father is a truck driver. He's on the road, and his phone got shut off six days before the shut off date. And they said, unfortunately, it's an automatic thing. And we have talked to representatives. I've talked to, they, they put me on the line with a uh, CEO. They put me on line with uh, multiple representatives. They put me on line with several tech people. And they all said, unfortunately, there's nothing we can do. Here's the thing. He's on the road. He's in Missouri and now has no way to contact the boss, no way to contact the company, no way to contact us or anyone. The dispatch, no one. He has no way to contact. And they shut him off. And his phone is his livelihood for contacting us, his job, all of that. And it just really frustrates me. I'm going to hold back a lot of words for this video. Because I'm not going to do that on this channel. But I needed to share. I needed to talk. We've been a customer with AT&T since 2007. And I told them that if this is the way you conduct business, we'll just take our business elsewhere. They're all just ruthless. And my mama's phone's a 3G. They didn't shut her off. So I've got to update and get that tower going. The micro cell tower will lose signal here. He's He has no phone. I've got to somehow get that phone to him. Tomorrow he's got to go have a uh, the part of the the new part of the physical done for the company that's taking over. He's got to have a hair follicle test out there tomorrow. They've got to go take care of all that, the urine test, all that stuff. They've got to do different tests on him. Basically, the uh, the uh, drug screening, and uh, he's got to come in and do that tomorrow. We'll meet him, but we have no contact to well, no way to contact him. He's out there by himself with no contact. Anything could happen. He's he's diabetic, which you know anything could happen, and he's got no he's got no contact now. They shut him off six days ahead of time. They shut him off early this morning. And boy, that frustrated us. And we've talked all day. This woman from Texas got on the line with us and said that I'm looking at your transcripts of your chats. Uh, on the 7th, I see that you were talking all day to someone uh, even after, through after closing time. And I see you were talking to someone. They said, she said, unfortunately, they lied to you. They said his phone, it, it, it's a 4G, but they said his phone would not shut off. And she said, they lied to you. His is not on the list of compatible devices for the 4G network. So they shut his phone off on the road six days ahead of time. And boy, he's going to be frustrated tomorrow when he comes in. Hopefully he keeps his cool because that's not going to, that's not good for his health. But I'm telling you, it's just frustrating. I understand why he'd be so frustrated. If it, I mean, we're frustrated about it. I mean... He's out there with no contact, and AT&T doesn't give one crap. We have talked to, I've talked to representatives, I've talked to multiple people, no help. They said, they finally said, I'll be able to handle this, give me the IMEI number. And I said, okay, let me look through my files, my, my cards. And I knew where it was in a micro SD card. I found this green micro SD card by SanDisk. I found the date back in April of 2021 when I got the new phone. And he, and it was a 4G LTE. And then they said, huh, it's not wanting me to look this information up. It's not, they gave me the runaround after I spent 30 minutes looking for the file. They told me, we can't activate it. I'm sorry. There's nothing we can do. It's just not letting me. It's, uh, it says it's a done deal. It's a done process. His other phone's already activated. When the woman we spoke to earlier today told us that she'd get his phone reactivated by this afternoon. So this afternoon rolls around, nothing happens. And he's still without a phone out there in the middle of wherever he's at. We have no idea when he'll be in tomorrow. We've got to get up in the morning, go to his the, uh, the boss and talk to them because he's got to upload... I have got to do the filing information for the, you know, and he's got to be there to do a digital signature 15 times on these 15 different files that I've got to upload. I've got to get a copy of his Social Security card from the Social Security Administration, <clears throat> and I've got to have him okay it, and he's got to do all that tomorrow while he's getting the physical part done, and then he's got to get, 
it's 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 a lot all at once. On top of that, we need a new router. <laughs> a new router because this one's not working right right now. And I got to get the other cell tower, micro cell tower set up here at the house. Everything came at once. It's it's hair pulling out time. But he said, they said that, oh, we'll be able to take care of it. They've been telling me that for weeks. I've got it taken care of. It's on file. I escalated it to the, uh, to the highest in our team. And I said, okay. I saved the transcript. They saw where they told me that. And they, this, the woman said, they lied. She said, apparently they lied to you just to make you happy and keep you with them. I'm like, what kind of customer service is that? So then, now he's out there, no phone, and I've got to get all those things done tomorrow, like I stated, and then uh, file his, uh, he's got to have that social security card sent to him if the boss doesn't have it on file, because he has no card now. He's got to have, uh, I've got to file, let him e-sign to have that sent when he comes in tomorrow. But I don't know when he'll be in because he can't contact us. And uh, it's a big, big mess lately, I'm telling you. It really is a big mess. I mean, I'm like pulling my hair out. Got to file all this information. He's not here. Don't know when he'll be coming in because he, his phone was prematurely shut off by AT&T. So now I've got to... And then I need to get another... I need to get the devices here at the house going, get the new devices going and stuff to, to keep us, you know, to keep us actually going, you know, for contacting. And uh, got a lot of work to do. And because our old tower will be shut off at a certain date, I've got to set up the new micro tower. But I couldn't need a new router before I do that. And we have no money to do that right now. I mean, it's just, they have literally just dropped the ball, dropped the bomb on us all at once. And I don't know why they would ever, why they would do that. It's ridiculous. I've been talking for weeks with these people. They told us that it would be worked out. They told us it would be worked out. They lied. I guarantee you I've talked to 20 different people. One night I talked to eight different reps in a row and techies, tech people, nothing. They lied and said it would be situated. His phone's not going to deactivate. So AT&T went and deactivated it and reactivated the one they sent in the mail without consent. Six days ahead of the time while he's out in the middle of nowhere on the road. I know I've said that again and again, but it frustrates me. Anyway, are you being treated this way by your company? I, I told them if they keep doing this, then adios, goodbye. I mean, it's just, it's crazy. Now we have, he has no contact with, I mean, I've been having to set up the new, I've been having to work and set up his new phone, his other phone they sent, the singular flip piece of crap. I've been having to set that up here at home, but he's not home. We gotta go uh, meet him tomorrow. We've gotta meet him tomorrow at in town, and he'll talk to the bosses, get all that work done. I, if he has time, I'll let him, you know, e-sign that stuff and uh, sign the documents. If he has time, might have to do that this weekend. But it's just been crazy, and. There's no excuse for a phone company to shut you off six days before the shutoff date when you're in the middle of wherever you're at, in the middle of another state, and can't contact your company, can't contact family, nothing. Just disconnecting you like that. Anyway, oh, and every time you get a hold of someone, they want you to get a hold of a different person that knows nothing about what you are previously talking about. Or you get a hold of a foreign voice that they can't understand what you're saying, you can't understand what they're saying, and then they, or it, it's blotched, it's like, or a noise, there's a noise that picked up on the phone that we, we were trying to tell her there's a noise, and interference, and she said, I don't know what it is, and she said, see if that helps now, 
does that help now? When I got on the phone, she said, see, that helps now. Does that help? And I said, now I can hear you. She said, okay. I told her, it sounds like a headphone jack is plugged in. An audio auxiliary cable. But anyway, and she told me, oh, it'll be sorted out by this afternoon. She said, I've escalated to the highest authority. And nothing happened. So I've been working, for this, working on this for two weeks. And then I was on the phone this morning for hours. This evening I've been talking for hours. No one has done anything. And now he's still without a phone, in the middle of nowhere. No one helping him. It's pathetic. All right. I've ranted enough. Documentation. If I post this, I love you. I mean, you'd think, never mind. All right, that's all.